the infamous door. All the babies came up early, like really, really early, like they were ready to come in at like 11 o'clock. I'm actually going to move all this. This is uh, getting to be too much. What are you doing out? Dear Lord, I got two little babies out. You know what y'all doing? I don't need to be out here. This is the killing fields. But yeah, everybody come up. Yes, everybody come up. Yeah, come here. Come here. Yeah, cause like, oh, I need to go get you checked out. I'm gonna bring you to the vet. See what's wrong with your face. Yeah. yeah cause something, something ain't right right there. Yeah. What? Why y'all biting me? Ain't no reason to bite me. Well, ain't no reason to bite me. Nope. But yeah, everybody put themselves to bed. They, uh, what not to bed. The baby ducks, the little baby ducks, they uh, they they were the last ones to come up. But yeah, they're up. Oh Lord, I got them running loose everywhere. But they're coming tonight. What? Yeah, I hear y'all. But yeah, uh, doing a restart tomorrow on the seasoning. That was a hard lick I took, but hey. And did it cost a hundred dollars? And uh, I don't know, four days of dehydrating, the cutting up of all the, the vegetables and everything else I put in there, uh, the growing of the vegetables, the buying of the seeds, and you know, you just go on and on and on and on. And uh, yeah, to me, it was worth a lot of money. I, I mean, I, I missed out. I love these turkeys. Yeah, y'all yeah, so nice, but I'm going to bring you to the vet because we need to get that face checked out. Yes. If anybody's ever seen that on a turkey before, can, let me know. Because uh, I've never seen it. I don't even know what that is. Quit biting me, little meanies. Yes. But yeah, I do take care of my birds. Um, they free range, so there's no telling what that is on that turkey's face. They run around wherever they want to. I, I, there's no fence on my property except for this fence. And this is where they sleep at, where they don't sleep in here. They sleep in Max 6. That's Max 6 right there. And uh, that's where they sleep at. Because uh, I can't let them run loose all night because I got killers. Bobcats, uh, raccoons, possums, uh, you name it, I got it out here. More than like a couple of alligators too. What are y'all doing? Two little ones doing out here. I need y'all bust get back in there. But yeah, this is where they sleep at. And for some reason, they've been coming up really early, and that's where I sit at. Like to fill up the swimming pools, I just sit right there and just fill up the swimming pool. Let's go with, boy, that water went down a whole lot. Wow. Okay. What is that? Do we have a tree fall down? That looks like a tree fell down. Yep, that's what it is. Completely just fell down. And I still say that 2016 had a lot to do with all these trees uh, not living. I know 2016 was a long time ago, but once they get waterlogged for 22 days, it's uh, kind of hard to come back from. Ooh, I hear a big old bullfrog. Better not let me catch you. But yeah, water went down a whole lot. Huh. Huh. So much for fishing. But yeah. I got to get these two little ones back in that cage. They know how to fly now, so... But holy crap, I got a whole bunch of them out. What are y'all doing? And then that rooster's gone. That rooster's gone. And there's two more roosters that are gone. I'm going to keep him right, right there. I'm keeping him. So, but yeah, everybody's up. Turkeys are doing good. Looking good. Ducks are looking good. 
What? What's the matter? Oh, Lord. What y'all want? Huh? What y'all want? What y'all talking about? I don't even know what y'all talking about. I can't. I don't speak duck. Boy, that's some pretty looking ducks. And chickens, too, except for the ones that want to have my big roosters. I don't know if it's him I'm keeping or the other one, because they look, they're dang near identical twins. I want to keep the smallest rooster I got. That way they're, they don't do what they did to the hens, you know, when they do their thing or whatnot. But yeah, everybody see me? And Sarah from Big Blue Homestead, I do appreciate the shout out, and I'm glad you, appre you, you, you appreciate and you like everything that I make. And uh, you are right. Uh, it's made right here at this house. I don't go buy any additives or whatnot. I just, just how I do it. All right, y'all. You have a good night. God bless. Stay safe. Stay healthy.